Because Joanna Lumley has controversially voiced her opinion on the Me Too movement, claiming women used to be tougher and believes victimhood is now fashionable. She spent three years, of course, as a model at the beginning of her career before becoming an actress in the late 1960s. She told Prospect magazine, if somebody whistled at you in the street, it didn't matter. If someone was groping, we slept, slapped their hands. We were quite tough and looked after ourselves. The new fashion is to be a victim, a victim of something. It's pathetic. We've gone mad, said Joanna Lumley. Now, I love Joanna Lumley. And I wouldn't have wanted to have said a word against her, but I can't agree with her on this. It is, it's similar to what we were talking about, but it's worse than what we we're talking about because this isn't just not keeping up with progress. This is backward to say that mm. we should all just let men behave as badly as they want. We should just, you know, do a cheerful little slap on the knuckles if somebody gropes us. That if somebody wants to, you know, abuse us, we need to toughen up rather than telling men that that's not acceptable. I'm sorry, she is backward in her. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. I, I, I agree with you. She was too glib about uh, sexual harassment. I'm very, very circumspect about the idea of making wolf whistling illegal. But, you know, who am I to talk about the ordeal of women at the hands of uh, groping men? Uh, she's too far too glib about the groping side of things, definitely. However, she's absolutely right that it is now fashionable to be a victim. Everybody, particularly if they're not victims, seeks. Uh, for a, what looks for a way to become a victim. And who is the superstar victim of this planet? Meghan Markle. And they're all following in her footsteps. Being so a victim I think, I think, is... I think Joanna's got a very good point. Here. Being a victim is not fun. Mm. And being a victim who speaks out is even no, less fun. Think... Not... Yeah, but people who are not victims pretend they're that's, victims, I think, like yeah, Meghan that's, Markle. That's the, key, the distinguishing point is exactly that. And I think when... Lumley makes that point, as, as Kev said, it was, you know, she probably shouldn't have gone there. But back then, in her era, she didn't... Women didn't really have a choice but to just slap hands. If you went to tell somebody about it, you wouldn't have been taken seriously. If you tried to report it, you might even be laughed at. This didn't go anywhere back then. It was probably their only weapon. But the idea she's transposed, you know, what we did back in the day mm. to today's situation, Aisha, I would suggest is probably a little bit out of whack on her part, even though I, I think the sentiment... I understand her sentiment, but I think she was probably out of line there. I mean, it's just such an outdated view, and I suppose anybody who has any sympathy for that view should watch a film that's just out at the moment called She Said, which is the story of how Harvey Weinstein was brought down. It's a fascinating film. It tells the story of two journalists at New York Times. They spoke to various actresses. They spoke to two women who Harvey Weinstein had worked with. He raped one of them. They then went to confront him about it, two women, and he basically ruined their lives, and he ruined the lives of many actresses, Ashley Judd, for example, Rose McGowan, many other actresses he was absolutely obsessed with Gwyneth Paltrow and I think what Joanna Lumley completely misses is that often with sexual abuse it's not actually the thrill of the sex so much it's about abuse of power it's often very very powerful men and it's not just young women it's young men that get abused as well we see quite a lot of that in politics Indeed. at the moment at Westminster it is about a grotesque imbalance of power where the victim can't really speak out because you know as you've just said Ian it's very hard to be taken seriously to be believed and actually you're right Daisy because when people do speak out they often end up having a black mark against their name. Troublemaker. Um, troublemaker. Mm -hmm. Their career tends to go sort of nowhere. So I think it just it just showed... And I really like Joanna Lumley. I think she's so clever, witty, funny, beautiful. But this just signalled to me she's really out of touch with, like, the reality of yeah, the Yeah, I couldn't world. agree more. And actually, I'm really pleased you brought up Westminster and the imbalance of power. That's really, really important. But also we see this in, in racism, in sexism, homophobia, and it's really important that we speak out. And society has moved on. We do need to call it out, repeatedly call it out, until things change. And also those views... I was very surprised by yeah. Joanna Lumley because I thought she was someone who really race change, actually, and understood the way that modern culture changes. I think we but, saw her have a... She had an old lady moment. Well, I, almost, I wondered she? that a little bit. And I don't want to say that about <laughs> Joanna Lumley either, because we she all... Is it's a criminal. It's criminal. That's my point. It's a criminal offence to not like Joanna Lumley. But also, <laughs> there, are, there, there are some women who have just been really lucky and haven't had that 
experience, uh, particularly the power dynamic, and often the women who have managed that, and hooray for them, are quite ballsy women who don't take any nonsense. So I can sort of see where she was, and I mm. suspect Joanna Lummy has been one of those women, so hooray for her. But for a lot of women, more vulnerable women, less assertive women it's completely different and their experience and, and men and one alumni. of the things in politics is often um a couple of reporters said to me that they got sort of harassed when they were really junior reporters yeah. and yeah. then mm. when they became a bit more senior yeah. it changed yeah. mm. absolutely